Hey everybody! We are camping at Truman Lake and we are in a Corps of Engineer campground, Berry Bend. We are kind of in a little like cul-de-sac type loop and we, as you can see back there, there's the lake. He went down, walked down there and I guess there looks like there's a good place to do some fishing so we may do some fishing and that might be in a different video but you know whatever so anyway we're gonna spend a couple of days here and it's hot but we do have electricity so we have the air running and Darby is in the trailer where it's nice and cool and she kind of looks at me like I'm dumb when I walk out the door because it's pretty warm out here and she doesn't really try too hard to follow me out so I think she knows it's better in there. There's three loops oh, in this particular campground. We are in C loop. Uh, there's also an A and B and I can't remember which loop it is but one of them actually has some spaces like literally on the water like a few steps and you're right there so you might check those out if you're you know coming up here to camp and like them like your spot right there but I will say that I do think the ones that are right on the water have no electricity so be prepared for that as of right now you have to do reservations online you can't just pull up and get a space and <laughs> from what I could tell this one is booked completely for this weekend so you know make sure you check online before there are stupid bug there are four other core parks mm -hmm. I think four or five other core parks and there's also the uh, state park Truman State Park so lots of camping down here but as of right now it looks like everything's kind of booked up so you'd have to like I said check online before you just head down here looks like a pretty nice campground I'll flip this around so you can kind of see our loop a little bit and here's our loop you can see there is a tent right there. That's our closest neighbor on that side. There's no one in the middle. The middle is not, there's no spaces, it's just grass. And here's our closest neighbor over here. And then there's one over there. And there is a spot across this green circle in the middle. And there's a spot like right over there, but nobody's there yet. But I'm sure they'll be pulling in later today. And I would say there might be like, oh no, that's a parking area where that trailer is, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. And then anyway, so this is like the end of, kind of the, at the end of it. And then you have to go back up. Where's the road? The road kind of runs like right in front of that tent on up around and then it kind of turns left and right. And there's just a ton of spaces down here. I can't even remember how many spaces they said. But there's a lot of spaces well, in this campground. We're in 92. Yeah, so. we're 92. So yeah, so if you like this spot, you can always look for number 92. So it's nice and wooded over there. And then you can see there's the lake. We've got a fire ring and trash pole or lantern pole, whatever you want to call it. And a nice metal picnic table. Lots of space in between down here. Now some of those up the other way are kind of kind of close together, but yep. So got a pretty nice spot here. Fairly shaded. I mean, like right now you can kind of see we're sort of in the sun because there's no good tree right there. So the sun's just coming right through on the trailer. But probably here in a little bit we'll mostly just be in the shade. So that's not too bad. And in the morning, I would think we would probably be pretty much shaded too, so. So I whipped up a little bit of country fried steaks and mashed potatoes and gravy. This was just a uh, one of those bags of mashed potato instant potatoes and the gravy and the chicken came together in a box from Walmart there's the gravy 
There's a little boil in the bag, boil in the bag gravy. You just boil them right in the bag and it makes the gravy. And then the chicken I just cooked in our little toaster oven. It took about mm, 20 minutes or so. Not too bad. And it looks delicious and it smells delicious. How's it going? It's warm. <laughs> What you doing, Darby? Are you being nosy? <laughs> uh oh. Get all twisted up. So she's trying to get that stick that is buried in the ground. It's a <laughs> You're such a Grilling some weenies, or not grilling. What do you call that? Roasting. Yeah, roasting weenies. Got a nice flame going there. Gonna do some cool s'mores here in a little bit. Gonna do our, my s'mores a little differently than what a typical s'more is. All right, so I'm gonna pick up some s'mores, and what I got is chocolate-covered fudge graham cookies. I'm going to roast the marshmallows over the campfire, and since they're small, I'll do two per cookie, and smoosh it down. I'll show you when it's done. I actually got this idea off of Facebook. Somebody had posted a thing using um, fudge stripe cookies, which I thought that looked pretty good too. Um, and then somebody in the comments of that post had said to use fudge grams, so I'm like, hmm, let's try that. So that's the one that I'm going with. Oh yes, these are delicious. Such an easy way to make s'mores. You don't have to worry about having the extra chocolate bar. Really good. A little messy, but what s'more is it, right? Okay, so I don't know if you can see. Right there is a deer. See his head move? Big old buck. He just come walking up. From over there in the trees. How far away is he? What? 20 yards. There, there's a pretty good silhouette of him. Looks like he's got a pretty good sized rack on him, too, yeah. doesn't he? That's pretty crazy. About a six to eight point buck. He don't seem to be too concerned that we're sitting here. Or anybody else that's yeah. in the campground sitting here. <laughs> He's rubbing his horns on that tree. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Let's see, he should still have velvet on his horns at this time of the year. He haven't shed it yet. Mm -hmm.